So when I record something, an audio track will come up. And you can have multiple audio tracks. So if I click here and I record again, I can have another audio track down here and I stop. So with the audio tracks, um, there's many things. Here you have uh, the name of the track. So if I want to change the name of this, uh, if I want to say guitar or because I do narration, I want to say Bob did that track right there, I can change the name. And if I want to make this Joe or if you want to make it an instrument or something like that, uh, you can name your tracks. It's helpful. Uh, here it tells you that it's mono, the rate, the bit rate here. Now here you have your mute. If I mute this, it grays out and you only will hear this track playback. I can have enough. Okay. Here we'll solo it. So we'll gray out if I had multiple tracks here, five or six, it'll gray them all out and only play back this track. An audio track will help. So that's very uh, helpful when you want to just hear one track. You don't have to go through and mute multiple tracks. This will increase the playback volume and also when you're mixing down. So if I want to make it louder, I can take it and pull it up. An audio track. You can hear that I kind of made it loud or if you want to pull it down. This is helpful when we're doing narration. Uh, if you're going to do music down here and you want to have your music effect, you want the whole track lower, you can reduce the the gain uh, right here. Here's your pan to left and right. So even though this is a mono track, if you wanted to, you can pan it to the left or right. Let's go into here also. You can move tracks down. So this track now will move down to here. And if I go back to here, I can move it back up. So this is how you move tracks around. Go into here. You can look at it in different forms. I can go to the waveform. So this is a more I'd say more realistic what the dBs are and so you get to see the noise and everything there a little bit better. You can also go to the spectrogram. I have a friend that finds this very helpful. Uh, I haven't found the groove of it yet um, and how to really use it but he says he can use it to find noises that he wants to remove and it's very helpful. So play around with that. Uh, there's also you can do it by pitch takes a little bit of time on my slow computer. So those are different pitches. I don't know how that will help you, but uh, it probably helps some people that are more skilled than I am. Go down here. I can make this a left track now. I can come down here and make this a right track. I can also make a stereo track. So now I made those the stereo track left and right. Sometimes when you bring in some kind of music or something like that. It might be stereo and you just only want one track. You can just go in here and you say split to mono and you just made both mono. I'm going to go control Z to undo. You can also just take the tracks and split them and he will still maintain being left and he will maintain being right. Other things down here are the sample rates and the set rates. Just leave those alone unless you know what you're doing. Here you can Increase, decrease the size. If you want to highlight something, double click in the middle. I mean the whole track. So if I want the whole track, I double click there. Or you can come into this gray area and click there and it makes the whole track. You can also take these, slide them up and down. You can go into the preferences. And go under track and you can auto fit track to vertical zoom. So when I click that, it will make everything fit vertically. So if I recorded another track here, An audio track will and when I hit stop, they'll all fit vertically. I find this a little obnoxious, but it might be helpful for you.